In this video, I'm going to show you how to use bcrypt in Python. bcrypt is a password hashing utility where the idea is instead of hashing the passwords very quickly like other hashing utilities do, bcrypt intentionally takes a longer time to hash the passwords. Now, why would you want to do this? Because in reality, no password is completely safe when it's hashed. If someone has enough time and enough resources, they can eventually crack any password. So bcrypt just makes it harder for them to do so. So let's say it took 10 milliseconds to hash a password using one password hashing utility, and in bcrypt it took one second. Well, that may not seem like much of a difference to you, but that's a hundred times longer. So uh, to crack the first database will take, let's say, one week using the, the hashing utility that takes 10 milliseconds, whereas the equivalent bcrypted hashed database will take 100 times longer. So instead of taking a week, it will take 100 weeks, so two years, which is a huge difference if you're trying to uh, crack passwords. And hopefully by then you would know that your database was compromised and you can have everyone update their password or whatever you wanted to do. But um, you can see the big difference between a week and two years. Those probably wouldn't be the actual uh, times in real life, but it's just an example. So now let me show you how to use bcrypt. It's very simple. Um, first thing I'm go going to do is install it using pip. Uh, let me use sudo just to be safe. Uh, let's see. And it's installing. Okay, so now it's installed. So I'm just going to run this from the Python interpreter. So the first thing I want to do is import bcrypt. And I have bcrypt imported. And bcrypt has two functions that we're going to use. Uh, one is hash pw, and the other is gin salt. So the first thing we're going to use is hash pw. So I'm going to just create um, my hashed password. And I'm going to use bcrypt. And the first function is hash pw. And the first argument of this is going to be the password. So whatever your user enters as a password, um, my password is going to be Anthony. Uh, don't tell anyone. And then the second argument is going to be assault. So bcrypt.gen salt. And this generates a random salt to use when hashing the password. So I just ran that and I don't know if you could tell, but it took a while. I mean, it wasn't instantaneous. It probably took half a second or so. Um, so now let's see what happened. My hash password. I have that. So that value is the thing I would store in my database. I would not store Anthony. I will store this. And then to test um, whenever the user tries to log in using a password, I would do something similar. So bcrypt.hash pw. Um, I will take the password and then I will take a salt. But um, the salt is stored in the hash password. So I could just take this hash password and pass it in as the second argument and bcrypt would extract the salt and uh, generate the new hash for me. So let's do that hash. And that's one thing I don't like about this function. I wish uh, it was more clear that bcrypt would extract the salt from uh, the first hash password It'd be more clear if there was, say, another function called compare or something or validate or whatever you want to call it, where you pass in um, a password and the already hash password. But hash password function works fine. So uh, I'll run that. And it's slow again, but um, if you can see here, we get the same value. So this used gin salt and this used my hash password. Uh, these two values are exactly the same. So now let me try uh, a different password. Let's do pretty printed. 
And now you see this is completely different. So if a user entered pretty printed and they use they and you pass in my hash password, which was the hash generated from Anthony, you get something completely different. So when you compare the two for your password check, you should realize that hey, they entered the wrong password and then you can handle it whatever way you want. So that's really all Bcrypt is about in Python. It's really simple to use. Like I said, I just wish there was a third function that was um, more clear that it was comparing a password to the hash password instead of reusing hash password to generate the hash and use it for comparison purposes. But um, that's it. So thanks for watching.